Welcome guys to the crazy hands knitting and crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you absolutely beautiful stitch. It's a honeycomb stitch. There are lots of versions of this stitch and here I'm going to use two colors. Really great combination. For this stitch you need to cast on the number that is multiple of 6 plus 1 extra stitch and plus 2 salvage stitches. For this watch I am using PK yarn and 3.5 mm knitting needles. I am going to cast on 15 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Remove one needle and I wanted to tell you that first three rows they are base rows we are not going to count and repeat them anymore. So slip the first stitch and throw all other stitches. And purl the last cell with stitch. We will always purl it. Turn. Slip the first stitch and again purl all stitches. And throw the last salvage stitch turn and one more row. The last one here. Slip the first stitch and knit all stitches. And pull the last, of course. Turn. Now we start the pattern that we are going to repeat. So we are not going to repeat these three rows. Now we need to take another color. And when we change, instead of slipping the first stitch, we will always knit it. Just only when we change the color. So we need the first stitch and now need all other stitches. And go the last stitch turn. In this round purl all stitches. Now throw the last salvage stitch and repeat 
last two rows. So the third row will be the same as the first one, needle stitches and then purl all stitches. So I've done four rows in stockinet stitch and now it's time to pick up the green color in my case. And as you remember, knit the first stitch. Now what you are doing, find the next stitch and go down till the next color, I mean the green one, and find two ridges that are in front of next stitch. So again, down and these two ridges. Place them on the left hand needle and knit three together. So two ridges and the next stitch and knit three together through the back loop very important it of course depends how your stitches are turned but the green stitches has to be on top of the pink stitch if you need as how you would usually need through the front loops you see that the pink stitch is on top of green that's why knit three together through the back loop. Now knit five and repeat the same. Go down, find two ridges, one and two that are in front of the next stitch. Knit three together through the back loop. Knit five. At the end repeat again, find two ridges, place to the left hand needle and right away knit three together and purl the last cell each stitch. Great, that's what we have. Turn. Now knit all stitches. Well, the last one turn now purl all stitches Curl the last cell stitch, turn and curl again all stitches. Curl the last stitch, turn and now pick up the pink color and knit four rows and stockinet stitch like we did here. On the right side knit all stitches, on the wrong side purl all stitches. Turn and now go.
Turn and repeat two more rows in stocking at stitch. Now pick up again green color, knit the first stitch because we change the color. Knit three. One, two, three, and now repeat what we did. Go down, find two ridges, place them to the left hand needle, and knit three together through the pack loop. Knit five. And again, find two ridges, place them to the left hand needle and knit three together. At the end, knit three and curl the last stitch. Turn. Next row, knit all stitches. After that, turn, slip, curl all stitches. Turn and curl all stitches. Again, and that's it. Now you're going to repeat everything. From the place where you started knitting in pink, basically so, it is row number four, but let's count it is as row number one. So in total you need to repeat 16 rows. Now you pick up the pink color and knit in stocking at stitch four more rows. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel and see you soon.